Here we go. Yes. Have they seen the film is the question. Well, they have not, or they have told us they haven't seen it. Um, before we finished the film, we offered to show it to them, and they said they didn't want to see it. Um, they, Anthony said he wasn't eager to relive it, and I think that Anthony sort of wanted to have a distance from the film, uh, and we certainly respect that. Right there in the back. Well, lots of it happened since the film uh, premiered at Sundance in the past year. Um, Anthony and Huma actually did separate over the summer. There were reports of other sexting that he had continued to do. Um, and Huma was working for Hillary. Um, yeah, so I don't know what she's going to be doing now. Right there. So the question is, what tone were they going for in the editing? Because it's also funny and entertaining, along with all the other emotional parts. Yeah, uh, that's exactly right. I mean, we wanted this mixture of it's heartbreaking, and it's sad, and it's a tragedy. But it also has some humor to it, and absurdity to it. And, and, uh, and we wanted that to come through in the edit, uh, in the pacing, in our choices. Uh, also, to speak to Anthony's personality, I think you can see he's so funny. He's just one of these people who's like so self-aware, comes in, makes a joke. He's just got this bombastic personality, and we wanted that tonally to come through in the film. So I think you, you see some of that. So the question is, which, as we've seen how it's played out, yeah. um, it feels like a never-ending story, and how did she know when it was time to end it? Um, well, we very much wanted to keep it to the election narrative, and um, that was uh, one of the greatest. We, I wanted to, and my co-director and I, we both wanted to make a character-driven verite documentary, and often what you're doing is you're looking for where could an unfolding story happen, and uh, an election, or a trial, or a race, these events have a natural beginning, middle, and end, so we knew we wanted it to end with the election and have it just speak to this moment in time and then hope that this moment in time could resonate um, and be relevant today. And, you know, I think we said, like, in 2013, a New York City mayoral race, we did not think it would have relevance uh, to 2016, and it's continued to, so... And I'm correct in that you're a first-time filmmaking team. Um, Josh and I are, jo yeah. So Josh yeah. and I, um, we've been a directing team for about five years, and we worked on some shorter documentary projects. I had done a documentary prior to this on my own about the trial of Saddam Hussein for PBS. Um, but Josh, this is his first verite, uh, first feature documentary, yeah. Well, congratulations on that. It does not feel at all <laughs> like the work of a first-time filmmaker. <laughs> Thank you. Quite amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Some more questions right there, sir. It's it is an interesting question. I mean, I, I honestly uh, I can't say. I think that um, I think editing is a kind of writing, and I think. Um, Eli was a tremendous editor, and um, we were we were talking about it afterwards, and felt that he also helped to, um, I mean, putting together that the film you are putting together, you know, like, a, like a, as if you're writing a screenplay or something. And I think all three of us worked to create the narrative of the story. Right there in the middle. Well, um, we did know we wanted it to be a verite, and um, what you see of Huma is all we got of her. So you got the most of her that we were able to bring out in her story. Um, and then I think after we shot it, we said to ourselves that we needed to do an interview uh, with Anthony and we and try to use that interview um, to be 
not commenting on events, but their own entity. That was like a big distinction. So, um, and we felt that, and to make it feel present tense, so to make it feel verite, not like I'm reflecting on an event that happened. And we played with that a little bit, sometimes using his interview bite to comment on something, and it just took away from um, the fast paced, like forward feeling uh, narrative that we wanted. Right here. No, you see everything that we see of Anthony. I mean, he, the, the, the crazy thing about Anthony is off camera, on camera, he's the same. Um, he is, you know, a fascinating character uh, with these uh, binary traits of being extremely, you know, manic and then extremely um, sort of quiet and then and then also just extremely self-aware and then extremely blind. He has this sort of um, amazing dichotomy of, of a character, yeah. Time for about one more question. Make it good, just joking, <laughs> sir. <laughs> well, no, we, we did, we thought about it. I think, um, I mean, it, he's just also a part of the story and in, in the background anyway. I mean, he was there when he swore in de Blasio and he was one of, you know, the Clintons were involved in helping Anthony and Huma meet. So I think, I mean, you see the parallels between two different politicians and two different scandals and Clinton was able to rise above his and Anthony was not um, and we wanted to sort of bring that to the viewer's attention. And let's do one more question because I know this lady was so patient. Yes, you. Well, I think he's a complicated character, and we we recognize that, and we were we were excited to tell a, a character. I, I think it's more interesting to show the different sides of what a human being is. I mean, and, and I was talking before; he has this sort of Shakespearean quality of being so insightful and so self-aware, and then just utterly blind and completely self-destructive. And um, I think that we wanted to bring bring him in his fullness as a character. We wanted to show both sides. And I think one of the things that's been exciting for us is that we wanted to let you just see him in the behind the scenes, see him in the middle of a scandal and form your own opinions. And there's been a range of different reactions to him. Um, and that, that makes us feel good. Well, please help me thank one more time Elise, thank who you. flew across the thank country. You. Raphael, this There's great. one more screening of this film where her co director will be attending. So pick up a catalog on your way out. And if you liked this and enjoy it, tell your friends and let them come. Thank you so much. Thank you.